Hi friends, welcome to the channel and shackling Sudoku and puzzles. Ashish here and today I will be covering a Sudoku variant called Psycho Killer Sudoku. Now I have seen this variant for the first time and I would say it's one of the best killer variant I have ever seen. It's a really an excellent Sudoku, I have already solved this Sudoku and uh, I really thank Richard Canning for such a wonderful Sudoku. And I was more surprised while uh, I got to know that this was his first creation. So Richard Canning's first creation is a uh, psycho killer Sudoku and it was his excellent, cre it was the excellent creation I would say. So I really thank the author for uh, giving us an opportunity to cover a video on our channel and I'll add the link in the description below for the online interface of the uh, Sudoku that we are following and even the uh, link of the Sudoku where, it, uh, where this Sudoku was posted on Logic Masters uh, Germany website. So I'll add the link in the description below. And uh, before going to the Sudoku, uh, I would really uh, recommend you to uh, check out the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles if you haven't done so. It will really motivate us uh, to cover videos on daily basis. And if at all you haven't, uh, if, I'll, if at all you have any request for any Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, do let us know in the comment below and we'll surely make a video on it. And now coming on to this Sudoku, so I, I was still, I'm, I'm still surprised solving this Sudoku because it was a really an excellent Sudoku. So uh, I'll explain the rules of this uh, Sudoku. So the first thing is that uh, killer Sudoku. So uh, classic Sudoku rules apply. You have to have uh, digits from 1 to 9 in each row, each column and 3 into 3 box without repetition. And there are a few cages in the grid, right? So the numbers in the cage do not repeat and uh, the white cages. So the blue ones are ignored for now. So the rules of the white cages are the number, the sum of the numbers in the cage is uh, given in the top left corner uh, in the small number here. So the sum of these three numbers would be 24. The sum of these three numbers would be 17. The sum of these three numbers would be 11, right? And numbers cannot repeat in the cage. Now coming on to the blue cage. So uh, a, a little variation in the blue cage is that uh, these are called the psycho killer cages, right? So the digit in the cage. So for example, if you have a digit here, the di digit in the cage points to the uh, uh, box of the uh, grid. So for example, if you have a three here, it will point to the third box or if you have, for example, if you have a six here, it will point to the sixth box and the place where the digit is placed, the cell, exact cell in that box will be taken as the number for the uh, count of the sum of this cage. Right. I will again explain you the rule. This is quite bit, it might confuse you a bit, but for the blue cages, whatever number you place inside the blue cage, it will point to the box of the grid, the particular box. So for example, if you have a uh, six here, it will point to the sixth box of the grid, which is this, right? And uh, the, uh, the six, which is written in the uh, middle, uh, middle cell of the second box, it will point to the middle cell of the sixth box. And the number in the middle cell of the sixth box will be counted as the sum for the 10 cage, right? The same will apply in the second cell of the 10 cage as well. So if you have a two year, so uh, it, uh, I'll just uh, show you one more example. So if you have a two year, it will point to the second box of this cage and exactly the place where the two is placed uh, in the second box, it will take the value of that uh, place in the, from the second box and add to the total for 10. So it will take, if you place a 2 here, it will take the 2 as the value for the sum of the total 10, right? So if you have a 6, 7 here, it will take this cell for the uh, value for 10. If you have a 8th uh, box, it will take this cell. If you have the ninth box, it will take this cell. So for example, for 24 here, if you have the first box, if you, if you, have, read, if you have a 1 year, it will take this cell as the value for 24, right? So a very excellent idea, I would say a very brilliant idea and the same rule applies, number does not repeat in the cage, but here the numbers can repeat if they are in the different boxes for the sum. So as you can see the 3 here, of course 3 cannot be fulfilled uh, with 3 different numbers, so it has to be 1, 1 and 1, right? So it will be taking 3 ones from 3 different boxes and that's an excellent uh, way uh, the Sudoku has, has been constructed, right? So with that we will start solving this Sudoku, it, was, it, it, it is a really brilliant idea. And with that, uh, sorry, so uh, let us start this Sudoku and for 24 we, are all, we already know that it would have to be 7, 8 and 9, of course. Now if you see here, the start of this Sudoku was really brilliant. 
so as you can see this box now you have an 18 and a 12 so it actually took me approx 20 minutes to uh, solve this sudoku and i would say it's a, a really good time uh, and i would rate this as a 3 to 4 star puzzle uh, not below that so if you see here uh, this 18 and 12 uh, the sum of these two cages are 28 i am sorry 30 right so sum of these three numbers would have to be 15 and without using 7 8 9 the uh, 15 can only be uh, fulfilled by having 4 5 6 right so uh, the box case right the box sum, the total sum of the box would have to be 45 and 18 is already used by these two cages so these three digits would have to be 4 5 6 simple and these three digits would have to be 1 2 3 right the remaining three digits so don't get confused with the numbers in the blue cages because they are not used as the sum of the cages or sum of the numbers right for that cage so please don't get confused in that uh, scenario here so as you can see the 1 2 3 the sum is 6 but you need to get a 24 so 24 can only be done using uh, from box 1 2 and 3 right and of course uh, these uh, 4 digits would have to have 1 and 2 in them to get the sum as 12 and the other two numbers can be 3 or 6 uh, 3 and 6 or 4 and 5 right nice and now if you see here I cannot have a 5 in any of these two cells because so if I have a 5 here so we know that the for the 24 right you can have any uh, three numbers of any sum so it can be 9 9 and 6 or it can be 9 8 7 it can be 6 uh, 6 9 and uh, 8 oh sorry 6 9 and 9 it can be anything right but it cannot have numbers 1 2 3 4 5 any numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 right so which means that if you have a 5 in any of these two cells it will directly take you to the fifth box and in the same place of the fifth box you have 1 and 2 and 3 1 2 or 3 which means that the sum 24 won't be fulfilled which means that you cannot have 5 in any of these two cells so 5 would have to be here right and if you see here you need to have 4 in one of these two cells so which means that these two cells would have to be uh, any digit 7 8 and 9 and 6 in these two cells so it will again point to the 6th box and wherever the 6 be it will take 6 as the sum it will take 6 as the number for the sum of 424 which means that there is a very good logic here so the for the uh, 4 here it will take one of the values of 7 8 and 9 for the 6 here, it will take the 6 as the value, the same digit as the value, right? So, if you have a 6 here, it will point to the 6 box in the same cell as 6, which will take the 6 as the value. If you have, if you place the 6 here, the same, it will take 6 as the value, which means that the other two digits for the 24 sum will have to be 9, which means that 4 will have to take the value as 9. So, 9 cannot be here, right? It will take, uh, 9 will be either in this cell or this cell, depending upon the 4 you place here and 6 will take the 6 as the value so this cell would have to take 9 as the value in any of the boxes from 1 to 9 right so we are not sure which value it will take but uh, let us keep it uh, that way and now if you see here for the 1 2 3 right for the 1 2 3 uh, these two cells okay just this again this cell cannot be uh, okay so this cell cannot be a uh, 2 or a 3 that was a very good logic here because if it is a 2 it will take you to this box and the maximum number that can that you can have in this cell is 6 right but we need uh, the sum as 24 and it is in the same row the sum will be used in the same row so it is in the top uh, it is in the top row of this box and uh, the, uh, the boxes are 1, 2, 3 which means it will be in the top row of these 1, 2, 3 boxes and which means the 3 numbers taken for the value for 1, 2, 3 would be 7, 8 and 9 and which means that this cell cannot have numbers 2 and 3 because if you have a 2 here it will directly take you to the second box of this cell and this cell cannot be a 7 of course because the 12 sum will be a contradiction here uh, in a 12 sum the maximum uh, number you can have in the four cells is six which means that it cannot have a two and three it will have to be one and it will take this as a cell right 
so these two cells cannot have a no, value one now and if you see here now uh, because of the one this is directly going into the first box and this would have to be the cell can it be nine of course it cannot be nine because of the ten sum it cannot be eight as well so it can it has to be seven and which means that these two cells would have to be one and two excellent right and which means that now this cell cannot be a two again if this cell is a two it will directly take you to this cell and again the maximum number possible is six which means this would have to be three and this would have to be two so which means this would cell would be eight and nine and this cell would be eight and nine for the three it would be this cell for the two it would be this cell right nice so which means that this eight and nine right and we know that all these three values will uh, point to one the value one all these three digits will point to the value one so for the eight and nine any of these two cells will have to be one right so we can write that here so if this is eight here this would have to be one if this is a nine here this would have to be a one and of course now if you see your uh, basic killer technique here is this two and this nine can only be fulfilled in one way that is one three five because of uh, two year we cannot use two in this uh, nine sum so this would have to be one three five right and because of the one year and the eleven sum you need to have at least two in this cage so if you don't have one and two the minimum sum that you can have is three four and five which is twelve so you need to have a two in this uh, cage and it can only be in this cell which means these two cells would have to be four and five minimum sum right so you have eleven here now. And these four cells would have to be six, seven, eight, and nine. Nice. So let us continue that here now. So because of the two and one, both uh, two and one cannot be in this cell, uh, this cell, and and now if you see the nine here, any number here would point to the box with the value of nine, right? And it cannot be seven, eight, nine. It cannot be one, two. It has to be three, four, six, five. Let us write three, four, five, six. Now, if you write a three year, that will point to this cell. If you have a three year, that will point to this cell, and this cell would have to be nine. Not possible. Three is taken off. If you write a four year, this cell would have to be nine. Possible. If you write a five year, this cell would have to be a nine. Not possible. If you write a six year, this cell would have to be a nine. Not possible. Wow, what an excellent logic, guys. The way it has been constructed, that it is flowing very smoothly. Really, really excellent, amazing Sudoku. So this would have to be a four. This would have to be a nine. Which means that we already know that wherever you have a four, will point to the value as nine. Which means this would have to be a four. This would have to be a six. Excellent, right? And which means you can eliminate nine from this cell. And because of the seven year, you have an eight year, and that gives you a seven year. Excellent. So this is done, right? The four points to the value of nine year. And now, if you see, this has pointed as the value of nine. This has pointed the same value as six, which means nine plus six is fifteen. So this will also point us to the value of nine, right? It cannot have four and six because uh, numbers cannot repeat in the cage. So four and six is not possible. Can you have a one year? So if you have a one year, this has to be a nine, which is not possible. The cage nine is getting a contradiction here. it can have a two year this will be nine it cannot have a three year uh, it cannot have a three year because it will point so one uh, one basic tip or a trick here in this puzzle is that the number in a blue cage cannot point uh, can point if it points to the same box it is in the cage it will point to the same value that you are putting in that box in that cell so if you put a three year it will take as the value as three right so if you put a 4 here it will take the value as 4 so in the same box if you put the same numbers in the first box if i put a 1 in the blue cage it will take the value of 1 if in the second box i put a 2 in the blue cage it will take the value as 2 so same way if i put a 3 here it will take the value of 3 which is not possible i cannot put a 4 because you already have a 9 here i cannot put a 5 because you have a 4 and 5 pair here i cannot put a 6 because you already have a 6 here I cannot put as seven. Okay, I can put as as seven because you can have a nine here. I can still use as an eight because you have an eight here. You can have a nine here. And if I 
use as a nine this would have to be a nine so you'll have two nines in the same box same column not possible so the only possible digits are two seven eight and uh, with any digit as two seven eight you'll have a nine here here or here right okay mm, anything else it's a really an excellent sudoku and uh, let us continue with uh, it now okay so if you see the nine here it cannot be eight one seven two three six and four five so four five is also not possible it can only be three and six right so which means that these digits would have to be five eight and nine eight and nine is not possible here so it would have to be five right so these two digits would have to be eight and nine because this would have to be eight and this would have to be nine and because of the five here these three digits these four digits would have to be three and six now so one two three six are the digits used here okay and because of the eight here you can eliminate eight from this cell so it would have to be two or seven and if it is a two here you would have a nine here if it is a seven you would have a nine here okay okay so let us see uh, where we can continue now we'll have to mark these two cells because uh, we need ones right you cannot have a one here because you have a nine you cannot have a two here because okay you can have a two here you can't have a three here because it will take the same value you can have a four here Five is not possible. If you take a six here, this would have to be one. If you take a seven here, this would have to be one. Eight, this would have to be one. Not possible. Nine means this would have to be a one, which is again possible. So nine is also not possible. So it is two, four, six, or seven. So you can have one. So you cannot have a one here because you have a one-two pair. So two is also not possible. Four, six, and seven, right? Okay, can be anywhere. Hmm. So let us see what we are missing here. So this would have to be two or seven, right? So two would be nine here. Seven would have to be uh, would have a nine here. Possible. Uh, okay. Okay, so let us see this cell now. You cannot have a one. You can have a two. You cannot have a three. You can have a four. Okay, you can't have a five. You can have a six. You can have a seven. Okay, six is not possible because of the three six pair. You can have a seven. You can have an eight. No, you can't. You can have a nine as well. right so uh, let us see uh, what you are missing here something is that we are missing okay yeah. that was a very uh, dumb logic i miss here and you have a 135 pair one cannot be here so one would have to be here right and this one was used for this 8 and 9 so which means this would have to be 9 this would have to be 8 so which means that eliminates 9 from this cell right and it cannot be a 6 as well You cannot have a six year because if you have a six year, you'll have to have one year. So it has to be two four seven, which means that you have a two four seven triplet year. So two cannot be here. So this cell would have to be a two now. In this uh, box, this cell would have to be a two. And if you have a four and seven year, you'll have one in one of these two cells, right? Okay, which means that you cannot have a four and seven year. Awesome. So, if you have a four and four or a seven year, if you have a four year, you'll have one year. If you have a seven year, you'll have a one year. Which means again, if you have a four year, you'll have one in one in the. So you'll have two ones in the same column. So both four and seven cannot be in these two cells, right? So there is a very good trick here again. With this, if if you have a same value taken, then you cannot have in the same three straight boxes, either the column boxes or row boxes. So which means this cell would have to be a two. and this would be a 1 this would be a 7 this would be a 4 that 4 gives you a 1 year and this 7 gives you a 9 year awesome so that 4 gave you a 1 year this 2 gave you a 1 year this 7 gave you a 9 year because of the 24 k 
and that 9 gives you a 6 year that gives you a 3 year that eliminates 3 from this cell awesome so these two digits are 5 and 6 right in any order okay uh, no sorry you already have a 5 6 and 7 in any order right so this would have to be a 6 okay uh, let me mark that here and this oh sorry uh, 7 and 8 but uh, I think so we have uh, done something wrong here this uh, let us see what uh, mistake we have done here okay we have done a mistake somewhere and okay so we know that this would have to be a 9 so which means that a 9 cannot be here and because of the 6 here you have to have a 1 year which is 6 is also not possible so you have a 2 4 7 triplet here so that eliminates 2 from this cell right so this cell would have to be a 2 and of course uh, you will have to have 4 and 7 in one of these two cells right so which means 1 will have to be in one of these two cells so we can write a mark a 1 here and of course if you have a 4 and 7 here you will have 1 in these two columns 2 i's so that will have to be 2 here that gives you a 7 here that gives you a 4 here and that 7 oh I marked in the 8th box what a waste logic guys what a bad logic this was so because of the 7 here this would have to be 9 right uh, I uh, did a small mistake here so this would have to be 8 so which means that 8 would have to be in this column in this 15 box right so this would have to be 7 and 8 7 and 8 which means uh, so for the 2 you will have a 1 here for the 4 you will have a 1 here and this cannot be a 1 now ok so this is done this is 2 and this is 7 and 8 so you will have to have a 9 in this box so it can be only in this cell and you will have a 3 and 6 pair here so this cell would have to be 3 and 6 and because of the 9 here whatever digit you have here that will be taken as the sum for the 10 right ok so both 9 and 1 cannot be in the 12 box right so if you have a 9 in the 12 box you need to have a 1 and 2 as well so both 1 and 9 cannot be in these two cells so 9 cannot be in the 12 box so 9 would have to be in the 18th cage right and so for the for the one year that is pointing to the first box as five year right so whatever digit you have here that will point to the value 4 to have the sum as 9 so can it be 1 no can it be 2 no can it be 3 it can be 3 right it cannot be 4 it cannot be 5 it cannot be 6 it can be 7 it can be 8 as well you can have a 4 here yeah it can be 8 as well ok so these 3 digits are 1, 2, 4, 6 and 9 right 4, 6 and 9 which means 6 and 9 are eliminated from here so which means 7 and 8 are eliminated from here so 1, 2, th 1, 3, 5, 2, 6, 9, 8, 4 and 7 so this would have to be 4 this would have to be 7 this would have to be 5 and which means that these two digits are so you will have to have an 8 in one of these two cells you have to have a uh, 6 here uh, 5 here and that 5 ok so we have done this blue cage we have done almost this blue cage as well this blue cage as well this is pending right 3 and 6 3 can be anything 6 can still be anything ok if you have a 1 year you will have 11 which is 9 is not possible 8 3 is possible ok so if you have a 1 year you will have to have 8 year so 2 3 and 7 still possible ok oh so this is 6 and 9 15 so this would have to be 2 easy miss that so 2 will have to be in one of these two cells right now because of the 2 here 2 cannot be in any of these two cells so this would have to be 2 so that gives you a 7 here nice so this cannot be 7 
seven to nine, so one, eight, and three. So this is one. These would, this cell would have to be three and eight. That eliminates three and eight from this cell, so this would have to be seven, and that seven gives you a four here. So one is uh, five year. So one is uh, five year, and seven is four year. So four plus five is nine. That gives you a sum as nine, and seven would give you a eight year or seven year. That four will eliminate four from this cell. Nine will eliminate nine from this cell. One will eliminate uh, one from this cell as well. So you will have a six year. So this is a six now. That six gives you a four year. Eliminates four from this cell, and that gives you a four year. Right. So this would have to be a one now. So three and six. Okay. So if it is a six, okay, it cannot be six. So this would have to be nine because it is twelve cage. So this is a six now. This three doesn't give you anything now. That eliminates three from this cell. So two, five, eight, and nine, right? Eight, nine. So this would have to be two, five, nine year, nine year. So this cell would have to be a nine. That gives you a nine year, a seven year, a two year. So eight and six, six cannot be here. So six would have to be here. This gives you a three year, an eight year, a six year, a three year. And now if the three is eight, so nine would have to be one. Okay, no, three is eight, so nine would have to be two. So this would have to be two. That gives you a five year because of the ten sum. So if three is eight, nine would have to be two year. <laughs> I I was about to again break the Sudoku. I'm uh, doing it in a hurry. So this three would give you an eight year, and this nine would give you a two year. That sums to ten. That's nice. So this is done. So this will be an eight now. That gives you a one year, three and five, right? So this this one give you a, gives you a two and six year. So this would have to be two and six anywhere in this uh, these two cells. So one three five, right? So one and five is here. This would have to be three. That gives you a three year, a five year, a one year. That gives you a two year and a one year. That gives you six year and a two year. That gives you a six year and a three year. That's nice. So this is uh, getting completed now. Five, seven, and eight. So this would have to be eight. This would have to be five and seven, right? And that gives you a seven in this cell. That gives you a no. So this is eight and seven, right? That gives you a three and eight. Uh, that gives you a three year. So four, five, and six. That gives you a five year. Four and five, six and four, nine and six, and with that we complete this excellent solo, guys. I cannot uh, say that how I am enjoying even after solving it for the second time. What an excellent variant this was. So if you see here, the the idea behind the solo was really really brilliant. It was an excellent idea. So if you see here the four year that will point to the uh, nine in the same uh, fourth box, right? So the value points to the box, and the uh, place points to the value of that box, right? Exact uh, the place of the value of that box, right? So if you have a four year, that will point to the nine year. If you have a three year, that will point to eight year. That nine will point to the two year. So two plus eight gives you a ten. Excellent idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video. do like and comment if you want us to solve any other sudoku variant or a puzzle genre and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you